Hey guys, this is Chase from Burnout Inc. and I'm going to be doing a review of the WWE Elite Series Kofi Kingston from Wave number 17. Um, I actually already own a Kofi Kingston action figure, the one way back from I believe it was Wave 9, where he has the black and yellow trunks and he's got his big uh, Kofi Kingston parachute pants. And you know, I saw this one and I decided, well, I don't own any figures that have the tag team belts and I really like the color scheme um, and the design on his trunks with uh, his uh, Kofi symbol with like the little cobra snake thing on there. It looked really, really cool. And the green on the orange, it's one of my favorite color schemes. So I decided to upgrade him. And I'm a big fan of his new head sculpt. He doesn't have that weird smile looking one all the time now where he looks like an extra from Cool Runnings. But yeah, it's good packaging. I, I always love the Elite Collection packaging the white, the gold, and the red. Looks really cool. And on the back, which if you've seen some of the other seven, uh, Wave 17 reviews I've done, you got Kofi, you got Kelly Kelly, Seamus, John Cena, Zack Ryder, and Mankind. I already did a review on these three figures, and these two, I'm just, or, sorry, those two. There we go. I'm probably just not going to get. Got all of Kofi's stats right there. Brief description on who he is and his uh, recent accomplishments. All right. So, let's get him the boom boom out of there and do a review. Alright, so here's Kofi outside of the package. Um, kind of pay no attention to what's going on, you know, back in this area. I'm kind of shooting another movie and didn't really want to clean up my workspace, so they're just going to be there in the background, okay? Alright, so here's how he looks, and by far I think this is the best Kofi Kingston figure they've made so far. His skin tone is dead on. Um, tattoos are accurate, or tattoo, I guess. Um, and like I said, I'm a big, big fan of the new face sculpt. It just looks more realistic. It doesn't look cartoony or anything like that. Very well, very. Ah, lose my train of thought. Very well done. Bottom line. Uh, nice detailing in the hair with all the braids and stuff. Very cool. And. We got his uh, Tag Team Championship belt right here. I have to admit, it took me a while to get used to the big penny belts with uh, the Spartan helmets or the Greek helmets on there, but, you know, I like the design of the belts. I'm just not a fan of the color. I really wish they could have just splashed some, like, some Spartan red or fill in the WWE logo or something because it just, they're big pennies. I don't know what they're doing with these one-tone belts. But these are nice, you know, for what they are, they're okay. So let's just go ahead and take that off of his hand. And get a look at his trunks and knee pads and stuff. So on the front, it says Kofi in orange. Orange, black, and yellow. He's got a little Kofi Jamaica man cobra thing right there. There we go. And even that's pretty highly detailed. I mean, it's just as detailed as it is on the front, and it's that small. Very, very nice job, Mattel. And I I really like the green that they chose. Um, it does it's not too bold or too bright like the the color isn't like the color is on uh, the Kofi Cobra symbols, but it, it works on the symbols, but I think if it was all over the trunks, it would have been different. And yeah, he's got the big uh, symbol on the back with some, you know, kind of tiger stripes going on in the back. He's got the same deal on his knee pads, and he's got like little snake coil things going on his uh, kick guards on the boots. Very nicely done. Uh, standard elite, ah, sorry, standard elite articulation. His head could go, you know, like over there, like, hello, ladies. Have you seen the new figure? Guaranteed to make you go boom, boom, boom. And it could go that can go that way too. Can go up and down pretty good. Could probably go 360 if it wasn't for. All the hair back there. Uh, he's got a pretty decent ab crunch. You can go back and forward with these, and like the like the sculpting too. You know, when he goes back, it's not just a flat texture area. You know, it's actual more of his abs and his muscle tone and whatnot. 
Uh, you can rotate all the way around at the shoulder, go in and out. It's got upper bicep swivel, single joint in the elbow. You can rotate all the way at the wrist, and he's got the uh, wrist articulation there. You can rotate at the waist. Okay, yeah, you can rotate at the waist. His legs can go out all the way forward, and then you can also stretch him out that way too. I believe those are called the T-joints. Um, I've seen them in a couple of Marvel Legends and just about every elite WWE figure has them. And I think they're some of the best you know, hip joints I've ever seen. Um, they seem to be a little bit more durable than uh, the DC Universe Classics characters, or at least in my experience, they've been that way. Then go out like that too. And yeah, you can just maneuver them around really easily and they just seem to be durable. Um, they do have double jointed knees, but Knee pads really, really block it, and it does kind of limit the articulation. I kind of wish they would scale down the knee pads and maybe use a softer plastic or rubber, whatever they're using. Just, you know, make it a little bit more flexible. But I guess if, if you have them for long enough and you work them a lot more, you know, they might soften up. And at the boot, you can rotate all the way around 360. And I think this is my biggest gripe that I finally caught on to with uh, the Elite figures is at the ankles they're just very, very stiff. Like, I haven't worked on this figure's joints at all, and I'm trying to push it back and I can't. And I don't really want to because I don't want to break it. He's got a slight ankle rocker. Oh man, that is really hard. Yeah. Oh man, I really don't want to don't want to force it, so I'll just have to loosen it up a little bit as I go. Alright guys, this was Chase from Burnout Inc. And I gotta give this figure, I'm gonna give him at least a 9. 9 out of 10. Great, great Kofi Kingston figure. I love the costume. It's The head sculpt is dead on accurate. The paint apps are really, really nice. The detailing is amazingly sick. Um, only complaint that I have is just the joints are just way too stiff in the ankles. I, I'm just so worried I'm gonna break them. And I, I don't want to do that. So, yeah, he's a definite buy. Go out and pick him up. You won't be disappointed. And I wasn't too big a fan of Evan Bourne, but I would pick up his figure two from the Wave 15 because he's got the other tag belt and his attire matches Kofi Kingston. has been added to the wall. I could probably get maybe six, seven more wrestlers on there before I have to start a new one, and who knows how long that's going to be. All right, so this was Chase from Burnout, Inc., and I will see you guys next time with another figure review.